This is part 148 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss passing data from a content page to a master page. This is continuation to part 147, so please watch part 147 before proceeding. Here, we have a text box control on the master page and we have another text box control on the content page. Let's say we enter some text here and then once I click this button set text, we want to display this text in the text box control that we have on the master page. So essentially, here we are passing data from the content page to the master page. Let's see how to achieve this. First, let's design our master and content pages. We'll be working with the same example that we worked with in the previous session. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So this is our master page, site.master. So we need a text box control on the master page. So let's include an HTML break here and then a text box control. And let's give it an ID, txt on master page. All right, now let's design our content page, webform2.aspx. So instead of this text here, please enter some text. So this is going to prompt the user to enter some text. And then let's include an HTML break and then a text box here. And a button. And let's change the text on the button to set text. All right, so let's actually navigate to webform2.aspx and see if we get the same design that we have on the slide. Okay, so there we go. So whatever text that we enter here, and then once I click this button, we want to display that text within the text box that we have on the master page. To achieve that, the first step is to include a public property on the master page, which is going to expose the text box control. So basically this property is going to return the text box control that is present on the master page. And notice that this is a public property. And then our content pages will be able to use that property and then set the text property of this text box control. So first let's include this public property within the master page. So within the code behind file of the master page, let's include a public property. So this property should return a text box control. So the return type is going to be um, text box. And let's call this property text box on master page. And let's include just the get accessor. So we want to return which text box? This text box that has got this ID txt on master page. So let's copy this ID and return that from this property. You can either simply say return this text box or you can use this keyword, this dot, look at that, I get IntelliSense as well, txt on master page. Now what does this indicate here? This indicates an instance of this class. So what is this class site? Nothing but site.master. So essentially your web forms and master pages are nothing but classes. Okay, so in this class, you know, we have this text box control return that. Okay, all right, so we have our public property. Now within the content page, we need to access that property and then, you know, retrieve this text box control and then set the text property of that text box control. Okay, so let's navigate to webform2.aspx. Let's flip this to the design mode, double click on the button to generate the event handler. All right, here we need to first access the master page that is associated with this web form. So how do we access that? Simply use master property and look at what is this master property returning. It's returning a master page object. Okay, so now, so on the master page that is associated with this web form, you know, we have a public property. And what is that public property? Text box on master page. Now look at this, when I press dot, and then when I say text box on master page, am I able to access that property? No, I am not. Why is that? That's basically because this master property is actually returning master page object. 
okay so in order for us to be able to access this property we need to typecast that master page object to the actual master page what is the actual master page for this web form tool it's site.master okay and what is this master page it's nothing but a class so basically what I'm going to do here is use the typecast operator typecast this to be of type site and then once we have typecasted that now look at this when we press dot we have access to that property text box on master page and what is that property returning look at the IntelliSense it's returning a text box control all you need to do is set the text property so text of that property equals whatever text that we have entered within text box one control this text box one control is present on the content page it's as simple as that so let's actually go ahead and run this and see it in action so let's say hello from content page and then let's click this button look at that we have passed the data from the content page to the master page okay so what did we do uh, we first included a public property in the master page which is going to return the text box control and then on the content page we're using that property and then setting the text um, property of the text box control that is returned by this property okay but then if you notice what we are doing here you know this master property returns master page object and we are explicitly typecasting it to the actual master page but then do we really have to do that not really we can get a strongly typed reference of the associated master page as well and to do that use master type directive so on the content page what we can do is we can just like how we have page directive we can specify master type directive and then this directive has got an attribute virtual path set that to the master page that is associated with this web form okay so once we have set this directive on the content page then look at what's going to happen let's comment this line when I say master look at the IntelliSense what is it returning back is it returning master page object or site object it's returning site object which is nothing but the actual master page that is associated with this web form too so now when I say dot look at that I get to access that property directly without having the need to typecast it so text box on master page dot text equals text box one dot text so our application should work in the same manner it's just that now we are using a strongly typed reference of the master page look at that so once we have a strongly typed reference you can directly access the property without having the need to typecast it now to retrieve a master page associated with a content page there are two ways we can use either the master property which we have been doing until now or we can also use page.master property so look at this instead of master property let's comment this I can use page.master and again look at what that master property page dot master property is returning it's returning a master page object now if you remember we have specified master type directive on the content page but when I use page dot master it's returning master page object which means we will have to typecast it to the actual master page and then we should be able to access the property okay so basically that is the difference between using master property and page dot master property so when we use page dot master property you know this property is going to always return an object of type master page object 
and because of that we need to explicitly typecast it to the actual master page if we need to access its properties and methods whereas master property returns a strongly typed reference of the actual master page if the content page has master type directive specified we have seen that just now otherwise master property works in the same way as page.master property that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day